so many great options here there too. was some options some really good options. some were a little more delusional than others but there was some options hey everyone it's mirror mangle and i'm heidi in Klaus. and welcome to another mangled morning Woo! we're just on all-star six Leave me alone, Mira. Hey, girl, at least you had a, you, at least there was a wig on Ray. The thing time. is, it was meant to be a reveal. I'm so bitter about it, because the thing is, I practiced it a couple times before, the night before, mm -hmm. and they worked perfectly. And then after the incident, I've practiced like 10 more times, and it works perfectly. Uh -huh. So the one time I needed it to work, it did. So what went wrong that day? I, it was, we were rushing to get stuff Done. Gotcha. It, like in like like TV in just general. Just wasn't quite right in the Yeah, right in way. TV in general, this there's a lot of rushing to get stuff done like fast up mm -hmm. pace. And it needed one more bobby pin. That's basically right. what it was. And I'm just like, oh, well, I'm known for losing hair. Keep it going, I guess. At least but again, at least this this is an upgrade. This is progress. This is all stars. You had a there wig was, underneath. There was a wig underneath and hey, she was there's been other She was ready to lip sync. Today though, we are here to talk about the miscongenialities of RuPaul's drag race. And it's gonna be great since you're here, but we're mm -hmm. gonna do something a little bit interesting where we look at who won Miss Congeniality and we discuss maybe who should have won. Because oh. there there's different things that occur. <clears throat> there's different things that occur, right? So like some seasons the earlier seasons, especially the queens vote. Yes. And then in the later no, seasons, no, no, in the earlier are, seasons, the fans. Sorry, voted. exactly. Well, you're incorrect, Miss Girl. Get your get your facts correct. Well, your heavy man cough distracted me. So. Man cough. No, anyway, I didn't quite like, cough like a man. Unlike she was saying, because she was giving you the wrong information. In some instances, in the earlier seasons, mainly. The fans would vote. The fans voted. So they only had the outside perspective of what seeing the show gave. But starting, I think, at season 9 or ten. 10, the girls started voting. Yes. Yeah, because it was after the Valentina After the Valentina incident. incident. So it was fan season favorite. 10. So they started to let the girls vote and decide who becomes Miss Congeniality. Which I think is probably more accurate. But we can yeah. discuss like some some run some runners up and then who we would have chosen to be Miss Congeniality. Absolutely. Uh, but before we get started with all that, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can see on YouTube, plus you're helping support the channel. Now, you did a Miss King Jolly roast I on did. season 13, speaking of that. Oh yeah, that was so much fun. That's one of my favorite looks you've ever done. You look, really? You look so good then. Thank you. Shout out to Ray Ortiz for creating that amazing, oh, amazing look. That's the guy that did my yeah. um, Poison Ivy meets Shania Twain look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Ray Ortiz. He's fabulous. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. He's, he's really talented. But I was like, I want to take a slightly feminized version of Smooth Criminal for this. Like, I want to be perched. My goal, honestly, is every time I make an appearance, I want to keep, like, always looking good. Whether the wig stays on or not, I right. want to look good every time. I think the three times I've returned, like for the roast and for the reunion, not the re for the finale 13, right. and then now the lip sync, I think I've looked good each time. Absolutely. So I'm excited about it. Well, you know, I, I mean, I, I, we've talked about this before off camera, but uh, for years, like, Shangela was the queen that always came back for, like, random BS. Yeah. Then, then all of a sudden, once they had Vanjie, Vanjie was that, now it's you. Like, you've yeah. been on every season since your season. Yeah, yeah. I'm very blessed to be, like, hi, I'm still here. Just popping up, making appearances. Do a little tip spot. Let's get into these uh, miscongenialities, and we're gonna, of course, yes. start off with season one. Yeah. Nina Flowers was the winner, but one one individual that could have also been miscongeniality was Angina. Honestly, I thought Angina was winning the season mm. until she left. I mean, her, like, oh. her and Bibi won the most challenges. They did. I was shook if that she didn't make it to the end. Yeah. But yeah, I think she was only the, the only other option really. Mm -hmm. um, but. I'm happy Nina won. I think Nina is a very nice person and very congenial. So it could have been either one of them. But yeah, this, I thought it was definitely like the only like. Yeah. At, at, at least from the outside view, I think she was like the only <laughs> option. You, the others that were, especially the bit further, were like Rebecca and Chanel. Like, <laughs> no one was particularly likable. <laughs> I think we'll see with some of these early ones too that getting Miss Congeniality is almost like a consolation prize yeah. for not either winning or winning challenges or whatever it may yeah. be. It's hard because like they're both equally as good as Miss Congeniality, so I can't sit here and say that I can't pick. Angina over Nina, yeah, because Nina deserves it just as much, and she already won it. So I would go with Nina. Yeah, agreed. Moving on Ooh. to season two, uh, Pandora Box won Miss Congeniality, yes. but we also had two amazing options, which were Juju B mm -hmm. and Jessica Wilde. I love all three of them, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this, is Pandora one of the ones that she said was like consolation for not winning challenges? Yes, absolutely. Like they that's, gave her, like they gave her Miss Congeniality because for, for me, that's the that's the, the fan the blueprint. The fans of, were like. 
of that category. The fans like, oh, she needs to win it because she should have won a challenge here or there. She didn't get to. Yeah, I, I think so. That makes sense. Don't you think so? That makes, I think she did. Like come not close. to say, not to say she wasn't congenial. No, 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 no. not saying that. But, she, but, but like yeah, that's I why think she. Maybe that's why the fans really voted for her. They're like, she came so close so many times. I mean, I guess you could just literally say fan. She was fan favorite. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But also, Jessica Wilde and be are very sweet too. I've been with both of them, and they're both sexually. Very sweet. <laughs> No, girl. I've hung out with them both, and they're both very sweet as well. So, yeah, it could be a toss-up between the three of them. Jessica Wilde is so, so sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, Gigi B is always so funny and making everyone laugh around her. I've she's, been very drunk with both of them, too, in different ways, yeah. So who are you going to choose? I would say, think about it like this. If you could pick one queen, and this is almost early in terms of us having this conversation because we're only at season two. You could pick, if you could pick one queen to be Miss Congeniality of the franchise, I would say hands down that should be Juju B. So I'm going with Juju B. Like Juju B is literally the Miss Congeniality of the franchise. That's never been Miss Congeniality. That's never been. Yeah. I can uh, see that. I'm gonna mention some other ones, but I don't want to spoil like what's coming up. But like yeah. that have won it, that could be that too. Mm -hmm. But she is the ultimate one that definitely has not got it. That is always Miss Congeniality in every season. She, every season she's on. This is true. That's that's fair. That is fair. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. So you're picking Juju as well. I think I would have to. Yeah. The way you broke it down like that. Yeah. I mean, think Absolutely. about that. Like, she is the she is the charisma of every season she's on. Absolutely. Yep. Moving on to season three. Oh, now, yes. this is this season three is a shady season. There was episodes where I was like, I don't like any of these mother. <laughs> these hoes. Like, they're all assholes. I live. Yara Sophia, of course, was Miss Congeniality, and because she was the least like that. And I think <laughs> what, I think Alexis Mateo was also very. The, congenial. Yeah, those, when it was the boogers versus the Heather's, they were like more on the booger side because the the Heather's weren't really talking to them like that, but they were like more. Like like the neutral zone, whereas like Stacy and Shadow were like full on in the booger camp. Well, yeah, and so not even, saying they're boogers, but like right, right. I think that's how like the storyline was playing out. Like, exactly, Shangela, of course, would like instigate some stuff too, <laughs> right? And we loved it because it's amazing TV. <laughs> but these girls would only react to what was being done around them. They weren't mm -hmm. like looking out to cause a scene. At least not what we saw. From what we saw, I would say though, like. Yara is the most congenial. Yeah, I'd say Yara. I think Yara just has that bubbly, that yeah. that that thing. Yeah. titties. We're moving on to season four, and it's one of the ultimate miscongenialities of all time, Latrice Royale. Latrice Royale. But also, Chad Michaels was very congenial throughout the entire. Very helpful. Like, very sweet. Very could, could motherly have, and caring. Exactly. She could have won that too, and I wouldn't have been like, no. Man. Yeah, no. You know, yeah, but. but yeah. It, would, would there have been anyone else? I don't think so. No. These are the only two options. <laughs> Do you think that's why that season was so great? Because those season, the early season was so great because everyone wasn't trying to be so nice. Well, maybe because people are like not. Yeah, They're people like are being, being themselves. truly being real. Yeah, be um, yourselves. It works. Well, did for you because you became this congenial. But <laughs> some, people, some people leave there being a villain. This is true. Um, I mean, you can't. Even though I love Chad Michaels, of course, this is one of those seasons where, like, Latrice, like I mentioned, Latrice Royale is like the top, 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 top. She's definitely like top three miscongenialities ever. Oh, without without any doubt, top two. She is the oldest. There's only like, one other person I think opposes her as like best miscongeniality ever. Who's that? Well, don't say it because we'll Me. be there. Oh, the fuck! Oh, you're in the top three. You're, you, you're you, gonna be in the top three? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm Oh. I would say you, Latrice, and one other one that we'll get to. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. We'll it's, it's, we'll we all know who is this. We'll get to we'll her. We'll get to her. Yeah. Moving on to season okay. five. This is another season where there's not a lot of congenial people. No, 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 no. We, they're iconic characters and they're amazing. A lot of, a lot of iconic girls. Are they congenial? Nah. Not so much. Um, but Ivy Winters won. And yes. then two of our top two actually could have won that as well. Jinx and Alaska were both yeah. really like congenial. They were. Especially when Alaska broke off from Alaska Tops. Yes. Cause like they were kind of looked at as like the mean girls at first kind of deal. Right. And even and when, then, like when she broke off, oh, she's really nice. So, yeah. Yeah. And even when she was with them. She wasn't like mean or anything. She was never, she was just literally physically there yeah like, like she wasn't those were her those were her girl pals right people love being around like familiarity F yeah familiar familiarity yeah it's like when you're with a friend like you're with your friends and like one of them's making a scene and you're not you're like not agreeing with what they're doing but you're their friend so you're still this standing is my there friend. right you're still standing there this is my friend because you got to finish that cocktail absolutely <laughs> and then we can leave i might give it a jinx I might, I might give it a Jinx. I would say that she is, in terms of the winners, like- I think the, she's probably the yeah. nicest winner. I would definitely go with Jinx Monsoon. That's yeah, exactly what I was probably, thinking She's too. probably the nicest winner. Like, she is unbelievably congenial. But also, she had to do it for last time, so her season. 
Yeah. And but like be, the the way she handled it was pretty impressive. It was very impressive, yeah. From the from what I we think saw. If she had won the season, I think she would have been Miss Congeniality. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Because I I guess maybe back then when the fans voted, were the top three not eligible for Probably it? Probably not. I don't. I don't like see they young clearly young were about, for season one. But um, I was young about. I, I was. I wasn't. <laughs> I had a mortgage by then. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I I don't think so. Maybe. I don't but we're not. Checkers. That doesn't matter because we're not talking about that. But yeah, uh, but yeah. I think if Jinx had won, I think she would have been Miss Congeniality. I think Jinx is the first winner to deserve the crown and congeniality as well. I can see it. Moving on to season six, we have quite a few good options here. Yes. Benda Lacrim, of course, was our winner. Mm -hmm. But then you also have Adore Delano, yes. Jocelyn Fox, and Milk that also were like okay. kind of fans adored. Yeah, fans really did adore. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised that uh, Milk didn't like win it because like the fans yeah. love her the fans loved her and this was still when they were both this is before all stars three yes i honestly thought jocelyn might have won it i feel like if the cast had voted yeah jocelyn would have won and i've actually should, yeah you've actually heard that from a few of the girls i think okay. bianca and some of the girls have said publicly mm -hmm. that jocelyn should have won miss congeniality i can see because she was very sweet she, she was is very sweet. she's and i think that's heart. what i think i'm gonna say it was jocelyn like if you look at this season i feel like the heart of the season is adore and jocelyn yeah i think they both captivate the crowd very well not to say that bingla's lovely and she's one of the greatest competitors in drug race history oh, but um, but yeah jocelyn is just she is just naturally when i think uh when i think of miss congeniality she, She's kind of like a template of what I would expect a Miss Congenial to be. Jocelyn? Yeah, like yes. bubbly, happy, like Absolutely. youthful, just fun and flirty and like, yay. That, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Moving on to season seven, we have Katya, who won. And then a great option, I think, would have been Jaden Dior Fierce Jade, as well. Yeah, I agree. Jaden Dior Fierce would be a lovely, lovely option. I think, I think she's very sweet. She is very yeah. sweet. Oh, yeah. And incredibly talented. Katya's the, the one. She's she's Miss Kajian. Katya is the other one I she's we both were secretly referring to earlier. Is yeah. she is she's the one. She's up there with you and Latrice as she's like the ultimate. The Miss Kajian. Yeah. Like the, her and Latrice are like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when and then we, I'm like right here. Yeah. And so if you remember, because that was <laughs> so one of the joking. first that was one of the first conversations we had online. It was. We did a, like, we ranked the Miss Congenialities, but it was like... Oh, I remember that video. It was right after you won. I remember that video. So you were definitely lower, but I, I was, was like, like... I think it was like nine. I was like, I can't put her... We, we basically were saying, like, we can't put her higher because she just won and we don't know what she's going to do. <laughs> but Heidi and Closet's brand and who you are naturally has built to be one of the best Miss Congenialities of all time. Well, thank you. And I think you do definitely deserve that top three. Oh, sure. Even though we're not to your season yet. We're, not my season we're yet. getting there. We're rolling. Oh my God. <laughs> Moving on to season eight. Yes. Cynthia Lee Vontaine. Mm -hmm. One of the, like at the time, the lowest ranking Miss Congenial yes, ever. Yes. I think she was the first, like, low, low one. Yeah, because she, she, yeah. She, no, 10, because it's the same as, uh, uh, yeah, because they brought Maisha back, though. It's because yeah. they brought Maisha back. Right. So we have Cynthia, and I think a great alternative would have been Chi Chi. Oh, Bang. I thought Chi Chi was going to win it. Chi I'm not going to lie. I thought Chi Chi was winning Miss Congeniality. I'm gonna watching season eight. I, I love Cynthia and I think Cynthia is oh, fabulous, so amazing, so amazing, and so sweet. But I feel like Chi Chi should have been like a classic Miss Congeniality. I think, especially, brand. I think it's this, especially since we got to see so much more of Chi Chi mm -hmm. and we got to see her story unravel and stuff. I think yeah. we kind of expected it to be her, right? When you leave so early in the competition, by the time you get to the end of the season, we only remember the last couple of episodes, and mm -hmm. she was not really a part of that. So as we we're like going right. towards the finale, clearly we were like, the fans clearly, remember though. Yeah, yeah, clearly. I really thought Chi Chi was winning. Well, I guess the difference is Cynthia didn't have any problems with anybody, and of course Chi Chi had some drama. She with did folks have a because she was on the whole season. And yeah, yeah. And she had acid drama with bit. she had trouble with mm -hmm. acid, Betty, Naomi and Derek, Naomi and Derek. And, and, yeah. And then uh, she had that little spat with Derek and uh, Maisha during their challenge together. Yeah, and yeah, that she was yeah she was in her head a bit for that one too yeah. as well. So those are things I think that Thorgy maybe Thorgy was kind of she was just Thorgy. Thorgy. <laughs> so, Thorgy yeah. could just be a, a thing of like when someone's like dicking around when there's something to do be like stop <laughs> stop being a thorgy basically oh she's um, an adjective now this is actually a very difficult one now that now that i've said all that out loud because i was thinking like yeah definitely chi chi but now that i've said it out loud it's like she did have trouble with a she lot definitely of did have some trouble with the gals true true which is definitely different than some of the other ones that we've talked about like think, that we were like yeah, she you yeah, know yeah, yeah. 
Maybe, I don't know about. Was this the season that they first started voting? The girls started voting? No, it's 10. 10. It's 10 because of Valentine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The fights may have costed her. Chi Chi was yeah. the underdog of I the think, season. I, yes. And so, was. like. But we all love to root for the underdog. Exactly. And one, I don't I don't know if everyone does. Well, a lot of people do, but I, most, some people maybe are like, we are I like a confident hoe that goes in and plays competition and knows she's a badass bitch. Yeah. Which is lovely. We love those kind of comp competitors, too. And I don't know if maybe we're thinking about it because we're both drag queens. For me, is when Chi Chi had a problem, I always saw. Like me? I was was like yeah I Girl, we've been there I had that problem too I, I know why, I think that's why a lot of queens connect with me because I, I had so many like mess up moments and like trying to get right. things together I think that's yeah right you had a big blow up but like we all were like everyone agreed like this is a great moment to blow up on <laughs> oh man who are you choosing because we got to move on I think I have to stick with uh, Chi Chi I think I have to stick with Chi Chi I'm gonna go with Chi Chi as well I think I, but just, I, I think just that, by the I thought it was gonna be like this much but now it's like. Really back yeah. Up after like thinking about it. But I think Cynthia, of course, definitely deserves it. Deserves it, yes, yeah. absolutely. Moving on to season nine, one of the most controversial of all time. <laughs> it was Valentita. Your other option is peppermint. I think that peppermint for me, I don't know what you're thinking. I'm trying to I'm trying to think about all the girls. You've I got, don't out of the top so moving past the top four, you have Alexis Michelle, Nina Bonita Brown, Valentina. Pheromone, Aja. I mean, uh, there's very. I, no, okay, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> they're, like, they're all legendary and they're all amazing, Absolutely. but none of them are congenial. I think that Peppermint is truly really um, the only real option, and I'm choosing Peppermint. Even though she made top two, Peppermint is, again, like. Okay, yeah, I feel like she should be. She is very sweet. And I feel like if the cast voted, I feel like Peppermint would I hang would've out gone. with Valentina, and she's very sweet, and she's very well, cool. Wow. And she is. Yeah, she's amazing. But also, like, think but about also, this. But also, you have to think about how she interacted with the other girls. As Absolutely. Well. And so, like, think about this. She is, again, very much like an Alyssa Edwards type. Yes. But Alyssa would have never won Miss Congeniality for season. Not. She could have won it on All Stars 4, but not on season no. 9. Okay, I see it. Yeah. I would give it to Valentina just because I haven't like physically met Peppermint. Really? Yes. No, I think it back. I, I did meet her once and it was I was it was during my audition tape. I was filming. I actually filmed something that night for my audition tape and she was kind of a diva. So I gave it to Valentina. Oh. Yeah. She, well, she had to get she started because Stacey Lane Matthews was also there that night too. And she opted to get ready in the other room away from all the other queens. Mm. Well, I've never met Valentina, but I've met Peppermint, and she was very lovely. I met, I only met her at DragCon, mm -hmm. but like uh, waited in her line and then got up there, and I had some bad experiences with DragCon. <laughs> uh, but got up there at her line. She needed to take like a bathroom break, and yeah. so she was like, she came up like not only did her people talk to us and say like, hey, she's got to take a bathroom break. Do you guys mind waiting? Da da da. And you know, I was like, of course not. Yeah. But then she also came over and said that too, which was very, very nice. You know, like she didn't have to do that. Uh, Moving on to season 10, we have okay. quite a few options that could potentially happen. The girls were nice on this season. A Monet Exchange won. Mm -hmm. And definitely, des I think, deserved it. I think she deserved it. After like, honestly, the gag is like watching this, I remember watching the season, I didn't think she was going to get it. I thought it was going to be Miss Cracker. I think that if the fans had voted, Miss Cracker would have won. Is this the first season where the fans voted? No, no, no this is the first one they didn't vote. That's right. it. Looking back at all the past seasons of, of seasons mm -hmm. and being like, oh, well, this is probably going to be the girl. That and that's it. why this one is more interesting to look yeah. at. Is, is there, uh, first of all, we do, there's just more options in general because there's more folks that are lovely yes. like, and don't have any spats or whatever it is. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Also, yeah, that's what's different too is yeah. now the fans vote is removed from the equation. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that if the fans had voted, I think Cracker would have won by absolutely. a landslide because she didn't make the top her, four. Especially with her, yeah. Yeah, without getting eliminated right before the end. Right. Very I Pandora think, box. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think, yeah, she probably would have got it. But I think I would give it to Monet, honestly. I think that Dusty did great at sharing her story, and it was yes, lovely. She and did. so did Blair, and Blair was like that adorable little baby. Yes. Uh, but for me, it's between Monet and Monique. Okay. Because Monique, Monique was just sweet. also like that confessional she queen. She was very endearing, too. Like having to see her like make all her outfits in the workroom and having to rush to get everything ready, that was also very like endearing yeah. and like, oh, poor girl. Kind of almost girl. like Chi Chi. Yes. Chi Chi yes, always struggling like, to like, like, really, just make it like, to the runway. I really like empathize and sympathize with her, like her journey on the show and like the struggle that she had to go through. Mm -hmm. I actually think that Monet's up there with you guys, but she's also won 
Yeah. So like it's hard to it's like, like still it's, put it's her in that group. Of, like, yeah, but she absolutely. she definitely belongs because she's also in the winners group now too. Right. She's all so in the cross. She don't need all those awards. Yeah, yeah. She can stay over there with the winners. She got the winners over. And she, she can be more shady online sometimes. Oh, the the, the whole that hoe when she can be petty. Moving on to season one of Thailand, we've got B Ella who won, and then yes. we have Jai Jai as an option as well. Okay. So I think B Ella was definitely congenial, but also she was that queen that was cut right before the finale. Of that, I think that always really like. Mm -hmm. I think that always feels like, like it happens ooh, a lot. I do remember really liking Biella. Mm -hmm. She was very lovely. So I think I would give it to her because, like, I remember like being like, "Oh, I like her. She's sweet." Yeah. I'm gonna agree with you on Biella. I think there was a couple moments, though, like the reading challenge. I didn't like some of the stuff. She, of course, you're supposed to read, but some yeah, of it yeah. was like uh, I didn't like it. So I would go with Biella as well. Yeah, I, I would give it to her. All right, moving on to season eleven, Nina West, Why Miss Congeniality, which was not a shocker. No. But uh, we also had our little Miss Vanji that I think could have won Miss Congeniality. I think Vanji could have won it if she had had so many spats with Evie. Yeah, that's true. I think she would have had a shot if she... But honestly, I think Nina is like quintessential Miss Congeniality. Absolutely. I think they're both like important parts of the season. Absolutely. And parts of the season. Absolutely. So I think that that's why I think that Vanjie's a great option she as well. She is definitely, a, I think she is a very good like second option. Yeah. So if Nina I, wasn't there, if Nina she could have been. If Nina hadn't been there, it more than likely, nine times out of ten would have went to Vanjie. Moving on to Thailand season two, yes. uh, Maya won, and she was a very mm -hmm. early out, and she was she was very like lovely. Mm -hmm. But I felt like the heart of the season was Vanda, and Vanda mm -hmm. also, you know, they brought a couple girls back yes. that had been eliminated for some time in the competition that were more of like fan favorites, I guess. Yeah. And I, you know, Conan Warrior and uh, Candy Cyanide, which are both amazing. Yeah. But I really wanted her in the finale. Mm -hmm. And I thought she was just so lovely and so sweet. Yeah. So for me, I would act, and and Maya was there for such a short time. She's kind of yeah. more like a Cynthia, where like she yeah, wasn't yeah, on the yeah. season that long. Mm -hmm. I would go with Vonda for this one. I would have to agree with that. I I was I was rooting for her too. Um, I, I was so upset she didn't make the finale. But also, it's not just, just that. Her. I'm not voting her for just for that. She also was just so lovely, she was lovely. the entire time. Yeah. She was lovely. Moving on to UK season one, Blue Hydrangea won. Uh, some other great options could have been Bag of Chips or something Wong. I thought Bag of Chips was going to get it. I did too. But, I, you know, but I, if you remember, she back kinda, at it. She kind of gave up towards the end. Yeah. She, like, anytime she was in the bottom, she, like, Shut was down. defeated. Yeah. Yeah. I think Blue, even though she was shady, was always funny to the other it girls. It was like a fun it, shade. Yeah, it was like our shade. Yeah, yeah well, right. my shade to you. You are just hateful to me. That's not what this police report That's my says. narrative, Gia. <laughs> I, I do think Blue deserved to win. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think she's very sweet and very adorable. Well, mm -hmm. we're to your season. And uh, you've got the Dear Heidi and Closet up there. And then we <laughs> also have Jan and Rakim Sakura as options My as sisters, well. Yes. I think that if the fans were still voting, I think it I think you still would have won. But you I think, think so? that I think that the fans because Jan was that robbed queen like a Pandora. Yeah. I think that Jan could have potentially won if she the fans voted. Up in there. I thought it was gonna be one of them too as well, actually. Yeah. Like going into it, I didn't expect to win this congeniality. Mm -hmm. I was like fully gagged and like, oh really? And I actually think I think that all three are like they're all like the Great options. definitions of Miss Congeniality. Great options. Yeah. And if we had been on different seasons, I think we each would have been each would, have would be a Miss Congeniality yeah. at this point. Not to toot your own horn since you're here, but you know, you again, you fall up there with the legends, literally. And you're yeah. you're a brand new baby. And that's why when we made the first list, I am still relatively new. Yeah, today. you still are. The newer queens, I I like to like let them settle a little bit. Let me see how I yeah. still feel about you in a, in a, a year or two. Absolutely. Which is fair. But what's Which is why I wasn't but hurt with how low I was on the Miss Congeniality. Uh, yeah. And the one we said it to him. Disrespectful. Now, we're moving on to Canada season oh, one. Oh, does Tainomi actually win it? Tainomi won. Like, they voted, you know, the cast. Oh, voted. fabulous. They don't do, like, it officially they like, on the program okay. for international seasons Work. besides Thailand, but they do vote uh, a lot of times in like after shows or web shows. And this is Tainomi was the winner. Mm -hmm, I fabulous. think that the winner, Priyanka, could have won Miss Congeniality. She well. was very nice. But then if you look at it as like a fan vote, I think Jimbo would have got that same old. Jimbo would have got it. That Jimbo absolutely would have got it if it was the fan vote. But which she was crazy because she was not actually congenial. Like she, I, I do agree, Rita uh, Baga's wig line was chunky, but she didn't have to go off like that. Right. I think, she was at her home. And I was like, over oh, the legs? That's when I was like, over oh, the legs? That's when no. I was like, oh, no, not that. Jimbo, no. Rita she was being so sweet. She dragged her. Rita was being so nice. 
and threw her to the side. I was like, damn girl. I didn't see, I thought, I, I love Tainomi, mm -hmm. but I- I wish she had stayed longer. I don't feel like I got to see her to be like a Miss Congeniality. No. I think Priyanka belongs with Jinx Monsoon as like a, a winner, winner that also and a Miss could Congeniality. Be Miss Congeniality. Yeah. yeah, I could see it. I would give it to Priyanka. Okay, that's fair. I too would probably give it to Priyanka because just because I got to see so much more of her mm -hmm. and see how nice she actually is. And she just was light, warmth yeah. every single episode. I'm happy Tainomi won it. Because I can't wait to meet her and see how nice she truly is and stuff. I will say too, Tainomi has one of the best, like, if you ever, if you follow her, her Instagram story is always, like, so hilarious. She posts the best stuff. Moving on to Holland Season 1, and the winner was Mama Queen. But then the great alternative would have been Sutter Jean, my which husband, I think Sutter Jean. Jean definitely deserved to win. My husband's Sutter Jean, I'm sorry. I love Mama Queen. I think she's fabulous. I do too. I love Mama Queen, but I didn't quite understand why. I didn't really see that she was so, like, congenial. Right. Like, I, she was there. Maybe she's she mama. was lovely. She was a nice yeah. person. I just didn't see, like, oh, this is the congenial one. Sutter Jean like, is just that. Like, embodies that. Mm -hmm. Definitely Sarah Jean. Mm -hmm. Moving on to season 13, we have La La Ri. Mm -hmm. We had so many great options here, There too. was some options. Some really good options. Some were a little more delusional than others, but there was some options. <laughs> Well, we have Got Mick, who made it to the finale. Yeah. We have Olivia Lux, who proclaimed that you were there for that roast. She, she said that really she, she said, <laughs> she said, oh, I'm going to win Miss Congeniality. Which she is the really moment we were all like, no, you're, you're not. not going to win. They were always telling us she's a diva. <laughs> You know, I never really got to see about when either. she was a diva. I didn't like when she was asking questions. But I don't think That's asking not, questions makes There's something you a diva. we didn't see. There's something there we didn't see. There has to be something we didn't see because they exactly. like they were fully at saying, oh, she's a diva. I'm like, I think that what that makes her a diva? She could have won if the fans voted, but not for the cast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, speaking of the fans. I know, I think the Molly would have won if for the, the fans fan got vote. to vote. Oh, absolutely. And then I think Joy J is also an amazing option as well. I think Joy J. She's could, very nice. Yeah. She's very nice. I think they got it right. I think it was Lala. I mean, I the girls too. got to vote on it, on this one. So I think if the girls say it was Lala, I mean, I think we have to give it to Lala. Yeah, I think for me, I think that Got Mick or if, I think if Got Mick or Joey J won, I wouldn't be shocked at all. No, 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 no. But I think that I wanted Lala to win. I knew so Olivia so wasn't going to win it as soon as she said, the nice queen. Yeah. I'm not here just to be Miss Congeniality. I was like, Right, who said you were getting that crown? We're almost done and we're moving on to UK season two. Fabulous. Bimini, the runner up, won. Oh, they voted for her? Uh huh. I love that. I see that and I stand by that. And I see that too, but I think that Tia Coffee, to me, falls into like that, just that thing I of like it. a clap. Like she, I think she was like the narrator of the season until she left. And she also was the person that made us all enjoy Ahura. Because up until she was partnered with Ahura, true. up happened. until then, I was not a fan. She broke Ahura. And made us Sometimes all Sometimes you gotta break some. Sometimes more. you gotta break some backs. Mm. Break them in. You would know about that, wouldn't you? I, I think that Bimini, of course, is like a, a great Miss Congeniality. Absolutely. But I'm, I would vote Tia Coffee. I could see Tia. I could see Tia. But I just, me and my gaps to sus Bimini. Oh, yeah. We okay. call ourselves Team Gap. So that's what, that's how you vote. You vote by the. I like to see what I see in me and other people as well. Well, all right. Moving on to uh, Spanya season one. That's, okay, that's what I thought. Poopy like, Poison, uh, one Miss Congeniality. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, <laughs> I think the person who, without a doubt, should have won was Arancha. Poopy Poison made the top four, but got cut right before yeah. the finale. That now, the, always helps. now the girls did vote, but mm -hmm. they voted before the season even aired. So they didn't get so to see all of it. They didn't see, because Poopy was extremely shady, especially to a few specific <laughs> girls in her confessionals that wasn't played out in front of them. Dang. Arancha, I didn't know that part. And even if, I didn't you, know that part. Even if you take that away, Arancha, like literally every single episode she's in, anytime anyone is having any sort of breakdown, which they someone had, does every single episode. Every episode. You, you've been there, you know. Oh, it's dramatic. She is literally the person holding every single, like talking them through it every single episode. She, Arancha right. is a classic to me, Miss Congeniality, yeah. and should have won. I could give it to her. I, I'd give it to her. Moving on to Down Under. I Correct. mean, this is, this. she goes down as a no-brainer too, but there's some great options too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anita absolutely. Wiglet is the, was the winner and- Obvious choice, Fantastic. I think. Our winner, Ketamine, could have also won, oh, yeah. but she, she already won. She, she's, she's a winner. And like, Baby. the difference is like, she could be too, but mm -hmm. you also have Anita who was also just as amazing. And Absolutely, and not even there the whole time, which I was very sad about. Right. She was an early out, but I was like, why? And then et cetera, et cetera was amazing as well. Yeah, she was. I was very sad that she went where she did. It is Anita. 
it's Anita. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I think it's Anita. There's no I, doubt. Like, I think, yeah. They could have been was, great options, but Anita options Wiglet is lovely, just, but Anita was right. there, it's so just it's Anita. Well, that's who we would choose for Miss Congeniality of each season. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We're going to head on out of here, and we are so glad you got to see us. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>